Hey, uh, thanks for joining me for another video. Today is Flash. Once again, Flash. Well, I said I'm gonna do Flash. Um, so there's uh, the video I did before, this video, and there's gonna be another one. And listen, while you're here, you know, share this video. Click like below. It really helps me and my channel. Uh, you know, I work hard on these videos, so I would appreciate a nice like below. And, and if you don't like something about my video, you know, comment below. Tell me what you don't like. You can always improve by your comments. So anyway, so what are we doing today? We have a, a verbatim 120 gigabytes. Um, it's a typical failure. I mean, it's typical in the sense that it failed because it's flash, but secondly, it failed because um, it's got um, controller issues. So the, the, the reason the flash, this flash failed is because um, the, uh, the memory chips get enough um, bad blocks that eventually creates a problem with the controller where it fails. Now, in this particular case, um, when you plugged it into the computer, it was showing its size, but it wasn't showing um, the data itself. Uh, if you tried to access the data, uh, you were not getting anything. So, you know, it's not the, your typical failure, but it's still a controller failure. Um, we're going to go using VNR, uh, and then we're going to try uh, using FE um, and see how this worked out. Anyways, enough with the talking. Let's get to the video and see how this flash was recovered. Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here for another video. We've got a verbatim USB drive today. Um, this is a pretty common configuration on this one. This is a uh, Fizen um, PS225107 V. So these are very common on these uh, on these drives. So um, I already tested this drive, so the controller has failed. Uh, so we're gonna pull the chip up. I, I already uh, did some troubleshooting on this drive and um, Physically, there's nothing wrong with the drive. So um, Definitely is the controller failure. So we're just gonna go and pull the chips off um, Probably gonna try flash extractor first And then if flash extractor can't recover this There's no uh, configuration for it. Then we'll go, go to VNR um, So let's get going with this case we're gonna pull the chips off right now. And then we just put it in a holder. So you've seen me this millions of times. I'm using my usual method of um, soldering on the edges. Okay, now that we got the um, flux on here, let's uh, let's heat these ends up and remove it. Okay, the chips are off, and this actually took me longer than usual. I don't know, I was using the wrong solder. I realized after I should have been using the um, the paste instead. Of course, I didn't. So now we're gonna get some um, flux over here and wick. <clears throat> then we can get rid of all this crap. I'm sure, I screwed up some legs on these chips. I have to fix them all. I love that when that happens. Okay, what's this crap? Oh, this solder. That can go. How about this side? This side's good too. There's some solder balls here. I'm gonna clean all this up with, um, with the fiberglass pen. And 
this damage right here, this 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 chunk right here, this was uh, done by whoever else had this chip before me. I guess when they're opening the, the uh, container, whatever the case this chip was in, they damaged it. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, just one more side here. Man, I hope this capture card is recording correctly because if it isn't, <clears throat> there's gonna be no good angle on this. All you're gonna see is my hands on both sides. And it's really, really, really annoying. I'm using this um, capture card that captures through HDMI on the camera, uh, microscope camera, but it's, uh, it's not very good. So I got an actual capture card coming in so I can use OBS on the computer next to me. Get some phone. Oh, look at Galaxy. Let's clean these contacts up. Okay, that one's done. Next one. That side's done. Okay, that's pretty much done here. I'm gonna put it through alcohol one more time. Just to give it a nice cleaning. Well, the alcohol already evaporated. Just blessing these chips here a little bit with some blessings. I'm gonna be a little bit gentle on these. Let's flip them over. That should do it on this. Let's get these dudes out of here. Chip one, chip two. I've already marked them with something sharp, but now I need a proper marking, so let's go. Because I'm going to use a um, flash, flash extractor, we're going to mark them one and two. Okay, so let's go find a reader and get this done. Okay, so this is the case after it's finished. So um, initially, uh, I re used VNR to uh, recover the data, but there was uh, a lot of duplicates. Um, so you know, to save time, I uh, eventually switched to Flash Extractor, which is a lot quicker in in uh, putting uh, the markers table together because it's that was uh, just uh, you know dealing with duplicates is just it's a waste of time, right? You can do it much quicker in uh, Flash Extractor. So if the if the assembly um, is there, you can just put it together in Flash Extractor. Not to say you can't do this in VNR, obviously you can, but I mean, time is money, so you want to get this done as quick as possible, you don't want to be wasting time, right? Um, so, uh, I already pre-recorded this earlier, so I'm going to go go through um, some of the steps. You can see the marker tables here, so... So here's Flash Extractor, so you can see, um, we had to load it up all the dumps here, and then um, we opened the configuration for this job, and there's the, uh, the job done, pretty much. Um, 
I'll show you the file system here in a second. Yeah, just to scan this quickly and then uh, we'll see the file system. All the corrections were done in VNR all the other, on all the other stuff, but uh, just the, the ending with the markers table is it's so much quicker in uh, Flash Extractor. So both tools together work so well. So anyways, there's the, uh, the file system. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm sticking to that Monday schedule. It'll be another Flash next Monday. And then I have some other videos coming uh, next week. Uh, some tips and some other stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.